in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Keep praying, Lord, we thank you. Shibarato supra da garabalaraba. Zakate poro supra gede gede gede. Zaka paroto supra gede balaraba. Leka paroto supra gede balarebo. Shabarato ko supra gede balarebo. Mande greto supra da garabalaraba. Rakata paroto supra gede balaraba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel chapter 10. We're still praying. Tonight we are trusting God for an encounter with the mantle of favor. The mantle of favor. 1 Samuel chapter 10. Media, can you help us? And Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Verse 2. When thou art departed from me, you will find two men by Rachel's sepulcher in the border of Benjamin at Zelza. And they will say unto you, a restoration has come into your life. He said, the asses which thou went seeking, somebody else took it and took it back home. He said, you were looking for something. You tried every skill. But God has instructed someone to take that donkey back home. Not to take it and look for you. To take it back to where it was supposed to be. Number one. Number two. It says, okay, can, can we go to um, verse three? Then thou shalt go forward and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor and there you shall meet three men going up to God in Bethel, the place of abundance. He said one carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a bottle of wine. You will meet influential people. He says something by reason of an anointing you will encounter people carrying strange resources. He said, when they see you, listen, verse 4, please. Help us, media. They will salute you. And they will give you two loaves of bread. He said, which thou shalt receive. They are on their way going. But an anointing compels you. Listen, favor is a dangerous mystery. When men look at you. That anointing makes them behave to you in a certain way. It's not like they plan doing it. Hallelujah. There was an anointing upon Esther. And the Bible says she found favor in the eyes of everyone who looked at her. The moment they make contact with you, a reaction happens in the spirit. Hallelujah. A little boy leaves his father's house in desperation and returns with an anointing that brings uncommon results. We are going to pray. Lord, any man that sees my face, let that anointing be activated. Lift your voice and pray. Any man that sees my face, let that anointing for favor speak. Any helper, any man of influence, their contact with my face will command favor. Are you praying? Sabareke telekota, enkerotos kabarakos kalaba, 
Mende kare koto soto porotos eleketea. Any man that sees my face, I activate that mystery on contact with me. Maleke raposia. Access to strange resources. Access to the heart of kings. Access to the heart of nobles. Access to the heart of men of influence. By this mantle of favor. By this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says from the day Potiphar set his eyes on Joseph, something happened to Potiphar and he could not victimize that boy again. He was sold as a slave. A slave is a property, but he found favor. Let me tell you something about favor. When the favor of God is upon you, a man does not need to know you to bless you. Pharaoh hated Israel. But he instructed a release of abundance. In one night, the Bible says the Israelites spoiled the Egyptians. It was like a charm. Because after they left, he now recovered and said, what did I do? Chase them and take it back. Abimelech blessed Abraham with abundance. A man who had lied to him. It warranted punishment. But the Bible says Abimelech blessed Abraham. Blessed Abraham. Genesis 26. We we'll read from verse 14. Or from verse 12. Let's start from 12. Down to 16. Four verses. Genesis. Shabaroko subrandike barakoshia. Genesis 26. And Isaac sowed in that land and received in that same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. 13. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Verse 4. For he had possessions of flock and possessions of herd and great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. Verse 15. For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. I like you to say, Lord, begin to exalt me by your mantle of favor. Go ahead and pray. Lift your voice. Thou art mightier, not by skill. Thou art mightier, not by age. We see that there is a mystery upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. He said, go from us. Go away from this region. Make sure you are praying. Shekete bara da bala da bala da bos. Shekete. Ma porotos kopria. Ela protes karepo shabandigari. Ela proskopo soprekesh. Rakata bala da bas. Lord, you begin to exalt me by your favor, by this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Revelations 5.12 Revelations 5.12 Let's have the communion. We are taking the blood tonight. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the lamb that was slain. That blood he shed gave him access to power. We cried for it yesterday. The second dimension is riches. There is a way God can favor a man and bring wealth and riches.
the bible says blessed is the man that feared the lord he said the generation of the upright shall be mighty he said wealth and riches shall be in his house not be around be in his house he says your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles your gates shall swing open and you will receive the forces of the gentiles i like you to pray and say lord i open the gates of my destiny to favor all kinds of people strangers strangers lift your voice please pray please pray outside make sure you are praying lord i open the gates of my destiny strangers your blood has given me access to riches to wealth i open up the gates i open up the gates in the name of jesus i open up the gates Pray. Shake it, ba da da is working in me is working in me god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me god's ability it is god's ability it's working in me It's working in me God's ability God's ability It's working in me It's working in me Hallelujah Leviticus chapter 26 verse 9 can we have the communion please Leviticus 26 verse 9 I'd like us to read it can we have New King James is that possible or amplified anyone please amplified or New King James hallelujah start from verse 9 you're on verse 10 go ahead and read one two read He said for i will be leaning towards you with favor i will regard you as a result of that i will begin i will make you not you will try to do it me i have chosen to make you fruitful he says i will make you fruitful i will multiply you i will establish you verse 10 he says and you shall eat the abundance of the old store there was something meant for you that you have not touched i will go back to revisit things that you are supposed to enjoy he says you shall eat the abundance of the old store of produce long kept there are blessings that have been kept but by witchcraft and manipulations you've not had access to it he said they are still there although you have not seen them they are still there and he said you will eat them he called them an old store and then he says long kept he said and clear out the old to do what to make room for the new in other words what you will begin to enjoy is a restoration first 
I need you to empty the storehouse to make room for what I'm about to do. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by favor, I receive restoration. By favor. You will eat of the old store. You will eat of the old store. Shake it, para da para da bas. Ma prata para toco sopra que deve de bos. Requetele ba 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 ba. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray he said even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not he says and whatsoever Adam called it that was his name thereof I'd like you to begin to call things in your life listen there are things that have mocked God in our lives I'd like you to insist God has already told you there's no such thing as losses they are still in the realm of the spirit call them by their names and say appear in my destiny lift your voice and pray please pray pray shake it abara call forth fortunes call forth opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus call them to appear by the mantle of favor Call them to appear. 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 Leko toko soto kote. Rekete brash kamariana balana. hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord we, we just got word that it's like there's a little hitch with the communion so it's possible we may not be able to take it we really apologize but we're still going to pray hallelujah we're still going to pray listen a man's life will be a repeated cycle of hardship i believe in principles i have taught you principles we have taught principles of financial dominion we have we have taught all sorts of principles i believe in that but i have also seen how god can veto laws and step into a man's life and do remarkable things are we together job 42 verse 10 job 42 verse 10 life is more than science i believe in principles and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And also the Lord gave Job. Who gave him? Where did he get it from? A man can get a thing from God. He said, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. How did that happen? I will tell you how it happened. God did not leave us in the dark. He didn't fall from heaven. Next verse. Then came unto him all his brethren. That was the first sign. When favor is upon your life, strange men start coming. Never trivialize the appearance of men. The Bible says, he that told, they, they dejected him, everybody left him. But now they started returning. And the Bible says, and all his sisters, and all they that had been his acquaintance before. Before. The ministry of men brought favor to Job. Something happened and the men left and the favor went with them. Men are custodians of favor. And the Bible says, and he did eat 
bread. They did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And what happened? Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. How many of them? Every. It was like a roll call. You were my friend before and you left me. Where are you? Bring your money. Favor. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, every destiny helper that has left my life before, they must appear with their blessings. Lift your voice and cry. Cry, cry. Everyone, the acquaintances that left him before, they left him before. in the name of jesus we call help us we call help us call them forth Call them for Call them for Call them for hallelujah 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 i like us to pray the bible says all that happened to job when he prayed for his friends praise the lord pair yourselves into two i like you to hold the hand of somebody we're going to provoke a divine mystery he prayed for his friend. Please, I'd like you to pray. Whether you are holding your friend, your brother, your classmate, leave the issue of relationship now. I'd like you to prophesy and say, I restore by the power mandated upon my life. I call forth favor upon your life. Pray. Oh, you have an anointing. Pray. Pray. Release miracles in the life stand upon your priestly position pray oh i'm mandated to bless you my brother i prophesy to you my sister i end your misfortune i end your misfortune by the anointing of the holy ghost a mantle is upon me and i speak to you I speak to you favor 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 upon you favor upon you it must speak it must speak I give it a voice favor
before I speak upon your life hallelujah before I speak upon your life I want to pray for you please everybody pray I want you to stand if you can take off your shoes and stand upon the ground the earth is a universal point of contact everything alive makes contact with the earth everything alive every destiny helper you meet is at this point touching this ground just like you and we're going to pray the, pro the prophet said as for the earth out of it comes bread there is a mystery of the earth i like you to pray and say as i walk upon this ground wherever my helper is i call you by prophecy come into my life go ahead and pray 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 please we are not playing wherever they are i use the earth as a token i use the earth as a token of prophecy i use the earth as a token oh earth hear the word of the lord i speak to you locate my helper locate my helper financial helpers ministry helpers business helpers oh earth i make a contact with you pray Baroto Supregede, E Grapa Toko Roko Supregede, Sparianda Careto Scobash, Rapato Supregede, Rakoto Scoprende Gedebosh, Terra Rabosona Maria Rade. hallelujah hallelujah please remain we are still praying give us job chapter 5 i want to show you a mystery job 5 22 and 23 our earth is surrounded by mysteries those who understand this will know how to reign in life job 5 22 and 23 please media are you there And destruction and famine at destruction and famine thou shall laugh I will tell you why listen neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth verse 23 for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field listen he said and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you there is a mystery here he says I will put you in covenant with this earth and instruct that everywhere the earth sees you it must make everything on it favor you i show you a mystery listen listen to what i'm teaching you it says you will be in league you know what it means to be in league covenant everything upon it when it sees you it tells the animals and every hostility be at peace this man is in covenant with us i'd like you to pray and say oh earth hear the word of the lord I have a covenant of peace every business upon the ground every helper upon the ground be at peace with me be at peace with my destiny pray pray you shall be at peace in league with the stones of the field money will not run away from you money was made from the earth it has a spirit pray there is a covenant of my destiny and the earth 
I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant. I speak to you. Speak to the earth. Speak to it. It has an ear. I speak to you. Every resource within you, around you, upon you, answer to me. Every resource within you, around you, answer to my destiny. Everywhere you see me, answer to me in the wilderness, in the plain, on land. Every hostility that happens upon the earth shall not be my portion. No accident, no terrorism, no lack. I'm in league with the stones of the field. No longer will resources run away from me. They come to me in abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. There are five elements that become conduits for the expression of the supernatural. Five elements. By the way, don't you think that what we have done or what we are doing is some sort of demonic thing? No. Hosea chapter 12 said, I have spoken to you by the prophets. I have used similitudes. I have used tokens representations to communicate my intent i have used tokens similitudes to speak to you they understood this mystery that was why every time god did, did a thing they would raise an altar and be at peace with the earth and raise an altar and say this altar even when we leave this city make sure you speak for us we were supposed to kill certain people, but we spared them. And so we raised an altar there and we ate bread there so that any man that dare touches us, the altar will speak. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place. Is calling you. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. When the Lord was showing me this mystery, I've shared it with you. There was a year. This is not something you just do foolishly. I started trekking from the roundabout of Chike Republic to aviation. The Lord made me do so. And I was just walking on the ground and praying in tongues like a fool. I didn't know I was entering a covenant. Every principality in this city knows. I told you there is a spirit in this city that makes things old. The lifespan of impact in this city is three years. After three years, there is a force that draws your life back to nonsense. There are great men that have written, risen from this city, but they do not know the art of war in the spirit. And when I walked upon that, I was tired, I was hungry, but I was speaking. The Bible says, everywhere the sole of your feet, not the desire of your heart, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. What did he say? He said, I give you. That means you define the limit of your territory. I'd like you to pray. And say I'm standing upon the earth. The same way the ground is not upon me. Hardship return to where you belong. You are under my feet. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I'm standing upon the earth. Hardship cannot be upon me. I'm standing upon the earth. It's a sign of dominion. It's a sign of power. It's a sign of sovereign control. I command situations. I command circumstances. Come back 
under my feet. Come back under my feet. Come back under my feet. Everything above me, mocking God in my life, mocking God in my destiny, mocking God in my life, mocking God in my destiny. You come under my feet. You come under my feet. You come under my feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was sharing with the school of ministry students this morning a very humorous experience that happened to me. Somebody called me at the beginning of this fast and he said, Apostle, the Lord instructed me. I'm a professional tailor and the Lord instructed me that from today I shall handle all your clothes and begin to sew your clothes for you. I want to come and collect your measurement and all I need to do is to sew your clothes the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock if you don't don't you think it's happening just because we're men of God this ministry we have seen strange I, I will not even begin to give you the testimony because it will make some of you angry the finger of God the strange manifestation of the favor and the wisdom there is such a thing called the mantle of favor a man can have it there is such a thing called the mantle of favor there are unbelievers they are not born again but they are some of the biggest financiers of some of the ministries that you see around the biggest financiers and they will say god said this i was sharing with somebody of a lady he started with one but there are three of them they, are, they believe their assignment in my life is to send me 5,000 Naira recharge card every month as a covenant. Hallelujah. There are people who do me transfers to my account every month of their life as a covenant between them and God. God is my witness. I don't know some of them. I don't even know how they got my account. Some will tell me I had a dream. Some will say, I did this. Brothers and sisters, if you think you must know somebody to bless you, you are joking. Get set to die poor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hmm. Wisdom, strategies. The Bible says, and Uzziah, it says, Uzziah became strong because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. We are going to pray and say, Lord, help me. Listen, when God helps a man, your story must change. I like be humble and say, Lord, I've done my best. Help me. Lift your voice and pray. Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. I pray, Lord, help me. You yourself be my helper. Pray. 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 Soka paratu shotos. Zeprekete lekota. Are we praying, please? Help me. Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Ebenezer. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, hallelujah hallelujah please if you can lift your hands as i speak over your life i want you to believe it there is such a thing as a mantle of favor not the gift of favor the mantle of favor in the name that is above all names the resurrected christ he said worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches I pray for you every cause of misfortune upon your life today we bury it forever in the name of Jesus we bury it forever in the name of Jesus every signature of hardship every signature of misfortune in your life 
in this year kabote kerika zetele ketariata in the name of jesus i bring it to an end i bring it to an end the bible says hey guy the one who dressed the virgins of the king gave esther a certain kind of ointment and she kept rubbing it for one year when she stood before the king he desired her i pray for you by this mantle let any man who sees you desire to bless you desire to help you desire to bless you hallelujah i pray for everything dying in your hand the bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i stand upon this anointing in the name of jesus like jesus called lazarus from the grave every misfortune every dying business every dying career every dying idea jack back to life this night in the name of jesus jack back to life please help that brother help that brother jack back to life in the name of jesus jack back to life in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for you that grace that makes men accomplish so much in such a short time in the name of the resurrected christ i'm praying for you beginning from today let that favor cause speed in your life let that favor bring speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life listen from today i'd like you to walk conscious of the fact that the mantle of favor is upon me as you move around know it don't don't just be emotional this night i walk all the time knowing that there is favor upon my life i expect people to bless me anywhere anywhere at the airport bus station anywhere i expect it because it's not about the people it's about what is on me lay your hands on your head say father today I receive this mantle, receive this mantle of, favor. of favor mantle of favor, mantle of favor. I, command you, I command you begin to speak begin to speak. Speak, to speak to the north speak to the south speak to the east speak to the west in the name of Jesus I command you attract to my life people attract to my life opportunities attract to my life resources in the name of Jesus lift your hands I'm praying for you my God like a cloak let it come upon your people that mantle of favor some of you beginning from this night as you leave it's like a mark upon you you will find people favoring you everywhere and anyone who is connected to this grace those online businesses let me pray specifically for businesses i pray for businesses in the name of jesus every business every investment any financial platform hear the word of the lord we superimpose your weakness by the favor of the lord in the name of jesus i speak to every job in this place every career that has refused to move forward we force it to move forward we force it to move forward anything that must enter your hand between today and friday we prophesy it must enter your hand it must enter your hand thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head 
Thank you for lifting. 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 Watch you. Let me add one more prayer point father let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something a season of results please open your mouth and pray my season of results let my life capture your faithfulness everywhere pray you are following online pray a season of the performance tired of being at the same level A testimony give me a testimony give me a testimony I need a consolation to my Christian experience in the name of Jesus put a new song in my mouth a, pray, a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the the graces that you have given me hallelujah hallelujah listen we do not serve God just because of results we love him more than that however however there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results are we together when Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him. It is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture. But it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence. You are a true witness when your evidence is there. You can tell people God lifts and they will believe. But when you are lifted and you say God lifts, it will be stupid to doubt you. This is what I'm praying because see, many of you, your promoting the purposes of God is not efficient because the evidence that you need as a man of God, you can't keep telling people God opens doors. They keep shouting amen indefinitely. They are human. They will be tired. Do you mind praying this prayer one more time? Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life command an evidence. The proof of your faithfulness seen in my life the proof of victory seen in my life the proof of favor seen in my life the proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life
seen in my life. Seen in my life. Give me a change of story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going into the ministry of the Spirit right now where God is going to be visiting us. I want you to believe. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want you to open up your heart. You came with a sick person. When it's time to receive that miracle, I want you to receive with all your heart. And when we instruct you to check yourself and you find out the power of God has touched you, you make your way very quickly here. And will be ministering deliverance listen the word of god is the conveyor of his power so for every word that comes like never before receive it with understanding and intention i know what god has shown me about the kind of people he's raising i know what god has told me as we pray preparing for this many of you have traveled from across literally nations across the globe several regions within this nation god will not gather you like this to waste your time hallelujah and as i begin to minister in the spirit don't worry just allow me do my crazy things here i'm walking with the spirit the way god walks by now you know it does not make sense but provided is consistent with his character and it produces results sometimes the ways of the spirit is like the way of the wind you cannot tell where it cometh and where it goeth but one thing you cannot deny is the signature of God's power upon it there are prophetic actions that will come sometimes they may not make sense be flexible and be childlike enough to believe the Lord hallelujah this is koinonia Please stand, just remain silent. I'm not making an altar call. It is the power of God that is going to be moving. And please ushers, now let me just say this, whether you are an usher or not, our ushers are limited, there are thousands of people here and all across. Um, anyone who is under the anointing close to you, if I ask you to bring them, please just bring them out so that we'll hurry up. It is my prayer that everybody will receive maximally within the limited time that we have. I don't intend to keep us too long, but I want that God will grant us grace to do so much. Hallelujah. When God speaks like this, it is because there is something that he's doing. Hallelujah. Are we together? So after the first shout, there will be a shout of a lady. And then after that, the power of God will start moving to specific people. And what I am seeing in the spirit, I'm just seeing like a cloud about to rain. And that's what God is doing to these families that he's single-handedly bringing out. Bring them out now. Please bring them out. My restorer has won my battle for me. My lifter has won my battle for me. The God of lifting has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man has won my battle for me. My restorer has won my battle for me my redeemer has won my battle for me i'm a winner man no winner man won my battle for me i'm a winner man no winner man won my battle for me let me tell you what is happening to these families that god is singling out i saw a cloud 
and the bible says if the cloud be full of rain there is a strange visitation to bring testimonies the power of god is still moving on those families you're not shouting you're not doing anything just this is the instruction god is giving me it's impossible to stand if the hand of god is upon you in that family let captivity be turned around it's a miracle service god is bringing to end captivity opening the gates of heaven ah it's coming to an end it's coming to an end that's what i'm hearing in my spirit It's coming to an end surely there is an end it is coming to an end it is coming to an end shame coming to an end reproach coming to an end god of lifting has won my battle for me god of miracles has won my battle for me the god of favor has won my battle for me won my battle for me i'm a winner man a winner man number two tonight's miracle service is very strange i'm seeing a bunch of keys that is being handed over to people in the spirit now hear me it is coming like fire on people's hands i want you to bring them out key stands for access there are people who have not been able to access certain dimensions right now in the name of jesus christ bring them out access god is giving you access access to realms access to things access to treasures of your destiny among our viewers the lord is showing me someone you are following from the u.s you are sitting on a couch you and your children girls in the name of jesus christ you are part of those that god is giving this access to by the power of the holy spirit i am praying for you right now as god is doing it here listen without a key even when there is a door it will not open by this key that god is giving he's swinging open doors i'm still praying again the fire of god is still visiting people opening doors by this key that is given very strange manifestation of doors opening for you hallelujah hallelujah it's very strange how god is operating tonight i'm looking in a vision and this is what i'm seeing please listen i'm seeing a woman who is pregnant and lying down like on a bed in a labor room but she's not giving birth i know this is a prophetic statement there are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision i saw of this pregnant woman in the name of jesus 
I stand as a prophetic midwife. I command your prophetic delivery right now. Prophetic delivery. Apakatos ketekata. Prophetic delivery right now. Prophetic delivery right now. Prophetic delivery right now. Prophetic delivery right now by the Spirit and the power of God. Prophetic delivery right now. Now, please hear me. People usually run when I pray for speed, but people are going to be running, but for a different reason now. It is not just for speed. I want you to be sensitive. It is not just for speed, it is still the same running, but the Spirit of God is speaking to me. Hallelujah. This running prophetically is a sign of deliverance. Leaving the place of pain into the place of glory. Leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity. I'm going to stretch my hands now. The power of God will come on many people and they will start running. Hold them gently and just bring them out. I decree and declare, even as God has revealed to me, I release that grace right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now from any obstacle, any condition. Bring a pakoskete pata. Bringing you shame and reproach. Be separated right now. Open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I prophesy a separation by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Who is Matilda? I'm hearing a name Matilda. Matilda. This should be a lady's name. Matilda. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a name Matilda. Please be sensitive. We're going to pray. Matilda. The Lord is bringing a visitation to Matilda and her family. Who is Victory? I'm hearing the name Victory, not Victor. Victory ends with a Y. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a strange visitation that is coming for that person. Please don't don't just come out at random. Let's let's be sure that Victory. Alande Shalakosiata. What's your name, my dear? Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for people, but I'm seeing a woman, a lady. You had a miscarriage last week. You had a miscarriage last week. Please help them. You had a miscarriage last week. I don't know where that person is, but I want to pray for you now. Victory. Your victory? I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you. I'm going to pray for everybody, but I'm seeing oil right now. And the Lord is, I'm with that oil, I'm seeing something leaving your body. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the Holy Spirit. First two of you before I pray, I command right now, in the name of Jesus, by this oil and this mantle upon you, every demonic thing, every embargo sitting upon your destiny, I cast it out of you right now. 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 There is a lady, you had a miscarriage 
last week this is what God is showing me please make sure you don't tell lies we have a, a, a miscarriage last week who is that what's your name Miriam Miriam you had a miscarriage last week you're married how long this year this year I'm going to pray for you who is miscarriage how long last week. last week where are you from from maraba no 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 no. where are you from state of origin a those states do you believe in the power of god yes sir. shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i'm seeing stones around fire this is what I'm seeing, and the Lord is telling me to take it away. I declare every altar that is speaking against your life. As I'm praying for her, I'm praying for someone in the name of Jesus. Anything that will not let you go, I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now. I stand prophetically and I scatter I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life, I prophesy to you right now. I don't care what the medical situation is. Return with your miracle children now. Return with your miracle children now. Who is Augustina? Augustina. I'm hearing a name Augustina. Augustina. God is bringing victory for that family. The family of Augustina. God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it more than seven years it has not been completed whether it's an individual whether it's a family no matter what it is that you do it looks like it is not completed i want you to lift your hands you don't have to come out the power of god is coming upon you right now it is the finisher's anointing you will be surprised to see what happens some of you before december i'm standing and speaking every power sitting on these projects and will not allow you make progress i decree and declare go forward in the name of jesus hallelujah huh. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm standing in front of a river. Please look, listen carefully. I'm standing in front of a river and this is what I'm seeing. You would think it's fish that is coming out of the river, but I'm seeing human beings tied with chains. You know how fish comes out and goes back. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set people free now. Please listen. I'm going to, it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now. Please hear me. I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come. You know how fishes jump. But I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes. But they are human beings. I'm praying right now. You're about to shout Jesus. My goodness, my God. Every marine spirit. Spirits of darkness connected to the waters. It was an element of creation God gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be. In the name of Jesus, anyone whose destiny has been buried, kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits, as you shout the name Jesus, may that fire come upon you and I lose you. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I lose you now. I lose you now. Covenants and altars tied to water. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I 
I lose you now I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something the Bible says in Revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the Bible said the sea gave up the dead the sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies tied down by activities of witchcraft when you read your Bible it says all of the abundance came forth out of the waters and the devil has manipulated it to destroy people I am still praying again anyone's destiny here your destiny means where God has preordained for you that has been tied trapped down maritally financially in terms of fruitfulness I decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now 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 hallelujah please look at me I want to ask you a question when Naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free look up where did the leprosy go to where did the dead skin go to the spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around the man who Jesus told him to wash at Siloam when he washed and he saw where did the blindness go to now listen just because people have abused all of these things through unfortunately extra biblical practices you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer are we together now The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the Trinity too as ice as liquid and as gas water is not limited by anything does not fear anything does not run away from anything very mysterious Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years. And yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now, anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names, my God, I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen everything has breath everything listens so don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around no they are all listening 
did the bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman the oil and the jar they were all part of they were participating in the conversation nothing except and he said no don't call that except go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation there's someone here you've been having i'm going to pray for the sick shortly you've been having severe headache when it comes upon you it almost acts as if you are losing your mind this is a very demonic thing this is not just a headache as a result of fatigue the power of god is coming upon you right now right now two of you are not in this auditorium but the power of god is coming upon you right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god in the name of jesus and for all of you who have come out here you did not just come out to waste your time i decree and declare the same way these spirits have left you they go for good and for some of you even before this service is over your testimony begins Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit, laughter, laughter. Step into your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for a family. Oh dear, you are from Gombe State. Gombe State. Where is the family? Gombe State. Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out. Oh, if we have that, there is. I, I'm seeing a family. Ah, uh, mother and not. Our people are already out now. What do we do? Mama, you are welcome. We'll pray. Of course, everybody wants to go forward. So once you hear a word, I will pray for you. That's no, no, no. You don't have to come. Ah, huh? Deborah. Deborah. I already prayed for Deborah. You received by faith. And eh? we're talking of um, Gombe State. The Lord is speaking to me. I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. Go, it's a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Ah. No one will. Who 
can stand against our king no one can altars are breaking oh father you spoke to me about a family in gombe state i'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact listen the power of god is going to come upon you and everything that represents shame and reproach for that family whether you are here represented or prophetically following online in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the power of god bring to end every activity of witchcraft now every activity of witchcraft now be broken be broken help mama please be broken in the name of jesus be broken now the lord is showing I'm going to pray for you listen in the name of Jesus I'm, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth this is what I'm seeing not, not necessarily in Gombe State this is another case God is showing me ladies whether they get married they are not able to have children and this is like a pattern it's happened to a number of the ladies you don't have to come out whether you are online or you are in here please i want you to believe god is visiting people's situations in the name of jesus before i finish with you my gombe people any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised christ from the dead we command those altars broken now we command those altars broken now now for all of you i know some of you your maybe your children or your siblings are not here since god spoke about families as you are standing in faith i use you as a point of contact and i pray for your siblings wherever they are in this nation and across the globe between now and the end of this year return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies in the name of jesus god bless you please return to your seat please return to your seat please return to your seat i'm going to pray for the sick how many of you believe in prosperity financial prosperity i know there are five levels i'm talking about financial prosperity i believe in it oh if you don't believe you can you can it is a very bad thing to be poor let me just tell you straight to the point the reason is and remember you have been taught here when we teach this we are not teaching from a an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things but let me assure you by the spirit of god you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself poverty takes away dignity from the life of people hallelujah there is the wisdom that brings prosperity first as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide there is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity but there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey get this equation now wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide that is the department of wisdom there is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you then there is the prophetic dimension are we together if you lack any one of these three you will be poor if you have a superior belief system you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men 
And if those men don't like you and don't believe you, you can be valuable and you will still remain there. Are we together? If you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom, you will only have circumstantial wealth, as important as it is. Because men will come, but wisdom, your, your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand. But if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is, and you do not have the prophetic, you will keep building and crashing. Because one activity of demon spirits, one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely. You can impart the spirit of wisdom, but it takes time to build belief systems. And that's what we do every week. As for favor, there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor. But this prophetic dimension is my assignment. I'm going to pray for the sick, but I want to speak it. Listen, by the grace of God, I vowed before God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life. God is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees. God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life. You are praying for rent. No. God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again. It is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper. Listen to me. Men can prosper. I know that there are, this ministry has very successful people at different levels. Building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account. Building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life, that even in farming you will laugh. This balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking, that's not the kingdom's way. At every level, we can still rise higher. And for some of you who are saying, I am comfortable, your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned. Because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources, you are not prosperous. For as long as your resources ends up with you, your comfort, yes, but your comfort alone, wrong. For the sake of thy prosperity, I desire your house. I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick. Please, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. If you ever believe and respect the prophetic, believe this declaration. Just believe it and insult me that I'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen. But please believe it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cry unto you, you are a covenant-keeping God. I have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence. Lord, there are people here who love you sincerely, but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down. I stand by the prophetic in the name of Jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open I prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the Lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now Businesses, receive that grace now. Families, receive that grace now. Territories, receive that grace now. Anyone who is in any financial situation, you are owing, you lost money, you are in business, there's some kind of financial trouble in the name of Jesus like Elijah prophesied over the, the, the woman in Zarephath I speak to your life may God raise men to bring you out of that situation may God raise men to bring you out of that situation
apostle what do i do to prosper may my god show you in a dream in the name of jesus the area connected to your wealth i ask my god to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you can i declare favor over you If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. Mm -mm. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen. I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud I know what I'm saying forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance I know what it means to walk in the favor of God I'm praying for you such as I have in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the one who favors men I'm praying for you let this mantle rest upon your head May this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. Sincerely believers, hear me. Let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are Please lay your hands now believing anywhere you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones I'm seeing others connecting by faith there are people following from hospitals having death sentences it is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles I believe in miracles I really do now here's what will happen I'm going to pray for the sick now and expect the power of God like I taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of God has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what God is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please ushers protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor Jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and I'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And I want you to agree as I pray. For those who are following from hospitals, other people carrying their medical reports, there is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick. I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. 
in the name of Jesus the spirit that is back of that infirmity whatever it is called I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now depart right now depart right now now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is I stretch my hands prophetically and I declare be healed now let the life of God surge into your body now in the name of Jesus Christ bone conditions anyone having a bone condition I declare be healed now anyone lying down on the sick bed I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now cancer be healed now tumors and growths be healed now partial or complete blindness eyes be opened now ears be unstopped now you heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb in the name of Jesus any organ that is failed or failing we command a brand new organ now peptic ulcer be healed recurrent migraines be healed blood conditions be healed There's someone you have a serious problem smelling it's just you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink that's literally how it is for you God is showing me in the name of Jesus you are healed right now the Lord is showing me someone you usually are a straight person you stand very straight but something began to happen to you and you are bending over it's like something is bending you over in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are straightened now someone's kneecap you've had severe pain around your kneecap in Jesus name may the power of God touch you There's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery I'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks I don't know what the condition is but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus may the power of God touch you right now yeah. there's someone you have severe breathing problems um, you've not gone to the hospital for any check but you've had severe sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you in the name of Jesus Christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of God you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the Lord is touching you right now now whether I mention your case or not I want you to believe right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman you are not here in Nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what I'm seeing the power of God is touching that little girl right now 
I'm hearing the name bronchitis, bronchitis in the name of Jesus, whether here or anywhere following across the globe, I declare be healed now. I'm seeing a woman, in fact, I'm seeing in my vision, a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of God, that woman is healed now. If there's anybody here who came with a mad person, maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder, any kind of, you know, issue that has to do with madness, in Jesus' name we declare they are restored now. They are restored now. Repeated malaria month after month. You treat it, it returns. You treat it, it returns. In Jesus' name, be healed now. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And then the Lord is showing me someone, um, not to be embarrassed, but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute, I don't know if you've gone to the hospital, but you have an, an embarrassingly painful expression of pile. This is, is, is this thing with what I'm seeing is not even just like pile. It's like a swelling, even though I'm praying for you, but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what, you know, what I'm seeing is not very good. It's, it's wise and I've taught you here, we believe in the healing power of God, but we are responsible people. You have a situation that calls for concern. There are many, many doctors that are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. They can be able to examine you. Even if it needs a miracle, they'll be honest enough to tell you. It is wiser to at least get that perspective than to, you know, irresponsibly shrug it away and yet you are not releasing your faith. For that person, I'm praying right now, this night, this moment, may the power of God touch you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone's left ear, left ear, you hear a very, you know, very irritating sound and then that's it. I'm praying for you. Be healed now. And pains around the body, any part of the body whatsoever, be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I speak healing for you now. 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 This life that I have is a life of God in me. This life that I am is a life. This life that I am is a life of God in me. This life that I am is a life of God. So way, so way, so way, so way. Piercing into people and situations and families. That sword represents the word of God. At the count of three, everything that does not name the name of Christ, as you shout the name that is above every other name, it must give way. Whether you are outside all of the overflows or anywhere, it's time for you to be free. Those of you in front here, I declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of Jesus. Be completely healed right now. In Jesus' name, and may the Lord visit you. Everything that represents a limitation in your life, say amen. I curse it right now. It must let you go right now. In Jesus' name. Now let's pray. Father, the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down. 
there are destinies that will not lift up their heads right now in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire that proceeds from his throne that brings deliverance please whether you are an usher or not anybody who is under the anointing please help to bring them out right now at the count of three one my goodness two three shout jesus i command liberty 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 by the spirit of the living god i decree and i prophesy liberty 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 that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified in the name of jesus we are still going to shout that name my goodness bring them out i'm seeing fire falling lord every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities as you are shouting that fire will rest upon every altar one two three shout jesus every family Tied down by demonic orchestration, we bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. This man, that man wearing suit, come. This man, yes. Please bring them out. Something is happening. What do you do, sir? Huh? The mic is <laughs> I work with EFC. You work with EFCC. I'm going to pray for you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you. Please hear me. Write this between now and November. God is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of delay. Ah. That anointing is coming right now. As I mentioned, the cases is leaving you right now. Delay, delay, delay. I cost you. I cost you. I cost you. Delay of any kind. My goodness. I, just, I hope they are not injuring themselves. Hallelujah. The overflow here. What's it called? The tent. Is this the tent? The, old, the smaller tent I want you to lift your hands those in that tent please lift up your hands those in that tent I'm seeing the power of God fall on people there at the count of three in that tent I want you to shout Jesus and I want you to bring out those under the anointing you don't have to bring them in here father you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent I decree and declare right now the tent there one two three shout jesus liberty even by the spirit liberty now please hear me the lord is revealing to me there are people here anything given to you you will lose it whether it is relationships when good things come into your life they don't last i want to pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has left you that should not have left you i call upon my god let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now be restored now, be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. I want.
want to pray for the sick but the lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that god is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and i'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been working with god access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation i bring you i call you by prophecy into that dimension the eyes that see and the ears that hear prophetic revelation so that you will bring the precepts of god with accuracy and with precision hear me although we are here in enugu the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now i relocate you to the place of destiny i relocate you to the geography of your witness the spirit of untimely death the spirit of untimely death the lord is showing me patterns every year someone must die every two two years someone must die every three three years someone must die i want to judge that altar by the spirit of god in the name of jesus every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family it is judged right now in Jesus' name. It is judged right now in Jesus' name. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. Jesus, there is no one, darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no one. to pray for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here sense of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands 
no no you don't have to come out since i didn't call you don't worry you can stand where you are and receive in the name of jesus father everyone who is called into the healing ministry and i said it the last time i was in this city god has revealed to me that before christ returns there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again we have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers too. we've seen pockets of it here and there but there will be such a move the healing ministry authentic genuine healing ministry i pray right now i don't know that man of god but in the name of jesus i stretch my hand man of god there does not just mean male male and female all together i hope you know that women have a major end time role to play a major end time role there are women who will come in the spirit and the power of elijah and will do mighty things across regions it is true they will defy the prejudices of gender and race and god will use them mightily and gloriously i'm praying right now healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down not afraid everyone to carry this healing anointing at the count of three i declare like oil may it rest upon you now one two get ready now get ready three take that grace right now in the name of jesus may your hands be anointed you will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of jesus christ i decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry may the lord do mighty things mighty things mighty things now please hear me we are going to do this very fast and i want you to please participate i'm about to pray for the sick do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go mm -mm. it was Archbe archbishop benson idahosa who said if your faith says yes god will not say no i'm about to pray for the sick and please hear me i want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting god for a miracle believe that you will be healed and then if you are standing in for someone whether for those following online or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones i'm going to pray and the power of god will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you i'm going to give you an opportunity whether you are in the overflow at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right will take a few testimonies and then i will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity the spirit that is back of that condition in the name of jesus you give way now shout a loud amen now i declare in the name of jesus be healed now be healed of blood conditions now
someone is i i, I don't know but it's, it's it's a messy scene i'm seeing in my vision someone will start vomiting like throwing out something and that will be the end of it i'm seeing an infirmity this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the holy spirit there are a number of ladies i'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that god heals in the name of jesus christ i declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now There's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what i'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe i don't know what that problem is but in the name of jesus i command that that demonic pain to live now there was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of jesus it will shrink back now we cause that devil in the mighty name of jesus christ You started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck is as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of jesus i bring you liberty now yeah. hiv be healed yeah. cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now Just a few announcements and we're out please sit down and write i want to give you the focus my phone please hallelujah the prophetic focus for tomorrow jeremiah 33 verse 3 please let's write it down it will be on our facebook page please encourage everyone um god bless us all there are so many people inside and in all the overflows please maintain this space invite your friends and we're here every day you see what god is doing in people's lives give god one week of your life and let him change your story jeremiah 33 verse 3 our focus for tomorrow are you helping us media oh i think they are going okay jeremiah 33 verse 3 let's read together one to read It says i will i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not our emphasis for tomorrow is going to be encounter with the spirit of revelation encounter with the spirit of revelation please if you have one meeting to attend let it be tomorrow's tomorrow's prayer encounter with the spirit of revelation write the following scriptures down and i'm giving it to us so that we'll go and study very seriously jeremiah 33 verse 3 daniel chapter 2 verse 9 give us daniel 2 verse 9 we'll still look at it tomorrow daniel 2 verse 9 is our anchor scripture for tomorrow 
19 i'm sorry did i say 9 19 daniel 2 19 everybody read one to read there are secrets that men do business with upon this earth there are divine secrets the bible calls them mysteries this is the ministry of the spirit of revelation please i like you tomorrow as you fast cry unto god and say lord open my eyes i'm tired of reading a story book called the bible show me the mysteries of my destiny the bible said jesus found where it was written about him you can find where it is written about you he said this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears one more scripture don't turn there ephesians chapter 1 17 and 18 paul cried and prayed that our hearts be flooded with light and so we're going to be praying our focus tomorrow will be an encounter with the spirit of revelation we'll be contending for illumination and access to the secret truths the mysteries of the kingdom we want to handle divine secrets and do mighty things with nothing just happens in this kingdom you don't just succeed you don't just move forward there are secrets if what you know is not bringing results in your life it is nonsense listen revelation is not knowing what god has said revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life no matter what you claim god has said if you cannot make it work in your life it is not revelation hallelujah so tomorrow we're going to be praying we appreciate everyone there are so many people inside and outside and um i want to assure you you hear the mighty testimonies cancer has gone and all of these miracles you will begin to record miracles please make sure that we receive these testimonies don't keep quiet the media is there pastor alpha is here david is here meet them and um you will have the testimonies tomorrow eight o'clock we're here please make sure when you come just begin to pray worship will be playing and all of that let's come early so that we'll be able to finish that's why we're trying to make sure that we finish by 10. let's take a few announcements and we're out um the wafers and communion many of you have been asking where do i get my communion kits please i hope that you are abiding by the instructions break every fast first with communion break every fast so if you don't have the communion kit do we have it do they have okay they don't have the samples jordan bookstore jordan has a number the communion wine and um, the wafers you can get it the wafers is very nice insects and um and um uh, the the all kinds of ground insects they don't disturb it because it's not scented right so it's very very nice it's something that you can keep make sure you have it don't just use it religiously worthy is the lamb not worthy is jesus worthy is the lamb it is that blood that gave access to all the things we are praying for these seven days praise the lord so available at jordan bookstore i think he probably brought some after the grace you'll be at the back you can meet him there's free but limited bus transport immediately after the service please note everyone going to shika and congo wait at the projector stand outside um this is a special announcement a phone boot space a space for phone boot is available for sale at 90s pepsi garden interested persons should meet with the head of protocol and logistics there is a space we're announcing it uh, i don't know how long the space will be available but you are here you are interested we're already speaking god is challenging you i don't know how much uh, I, 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 well you can discuss with the head of department and if you're interested you or your friends or whatever you want to put a business inside school or wherever meet with the head of department immediately after the service protocol and logistics please don't come alone tomorrow make sure you invite people did you bring your prayer request please rise up with it that's the last thing we'll do before leaving in case you have not done it please i like you to do it you will come every day with it there are two requests you are supposed to write but just hold it i want to speak over it that's the instruction that the lord gave us i know many of us just write you just have them in your notebook no problem just open it the bible says and hezekiah presented it before the lord presented it before the lord for those who are just catching up with us 
the instruction is to have two prayer requests. Now, I know many of us just wrote it on one paper. Please, tomorrow, go and separate it. We are burning one on Friday, right? One represents your expectation, all your positive expectations, the things you are trusting for God to do. The other one represents your challenges, everything that has mocked God in your life. You write it. I'm going to pray and speak over it now, and we'll be speaking over it every day. So once you come, just put it in your notebook or in your seat or on the floor, and just leave it there. Let this anointing soak upon it. And let's see the devil that will make that challenge remain in your life. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Please lift it up to God. Father, we are believers. You gave us an instruction and we are stupid enough to believe you. The Bible says Hezekiah lifted. He, 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 he made it plain and he said, God, reach down and see this threat. I'm praying in the name that is above all names. Everything you have written that represents your expectation according to philippians chapter 4 verse 16 the bible says we should make our request known i'm praying the angel that has been assigned from heaven to bring your results we activate their ministry right now we activate their ministry right now in the name of jesus christ everything you have written that you are trusting to happen in your life Hear me, no matter how impossible it is, may the God that we serve do it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for every challenge. God has turned aside the verdict of death in a man's life. God has turned aside all kinds of things. Whatever is in that list that has made you cry and has mocked God. People have looked at you and said, where is your God? I'm praying judgment let the sword of judgment land upon them this night say amen like a believer let the sword of judgment land upon them my god and my king we authorize by faith that you begin to move upon this request let the same hand that wrote upon stones write upon your destiny let the finger listen God wrote something in favor of Moses, but he wrote something judging Babylon. A finger appeared and wrote, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. He said, if I by the finger of God cast out devil, may that finger start writing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that finger start writing upon your life. Between today and tomorrow, you will begin to return with answered prayers one of the things the lord told me is that this one week will be strange answers to prayers in the name of the lord jesus christ and for anything you forgot that must be in that paper may the spirit of god remind you listen please don't write some and leave some if it's marriage write it if it's barrenness for your loved ones, write it. Please, I challenge you to call your loved ones and tell them, list it out for me. Just be foolish and do this thing. The kingdom requires a childlike heart. Hallelujah. So write it. I believe with all my spirit that there are still more things. Many of us have limited God. He said they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God make a table? Can God make a table? So you go and stretch yourself. Because for as long as there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. You can enlarge your tent and say, Lord, I believe you for more. Everything that has threatened you, if you can't lift it to God, who will you lift it to? My God, I pray, behold the things that threaten those you died for. Behold the financial issues, marital issues, academic issues, job issues health issues oppression issues let the god that answers prayers visit this request let the god that answers prayers visit this request the bible says unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come we turn it into testimonies in the name of jesus god bless you and put it back 
and if there's anyone here you came with your communion kit or anything that is a point of contact for you for your prayers we bless it and we anoint it in the name of jesus we apologize sincerely for our inability to take communion today we are supposed to be taking communion every day here so expect that there will be communion and the lord will bless us in the name of jesus our fasting continues the official time is four o'clock please make sure that you break by four and you rest and then you are here praise the lord let's rise up as we share the grace after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people just tell them anything in your spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain